Hello everybody, I'm Francesco and welcome to Intrepid AI, the platform for building, simulating and deploying autonomous robot capabilities. These tutorials will show you how to create, test and refine robotics behaviors from basics to advanced integrations. Let's dive in. In this episode, we'll explore the essentials of the Intrepid AI platform. You will learn how to navigate the interface, create simple graphs and execute your very first project. So let's start with the basics. The Intrepid platform consists of three key components. A dashboard, your workspace for designing behaviors and capabilities, an efficient runtime to execute directly on your vehicle, and a simulator for testing. You can download everything from our official website, intrepid.ai. Once downloaded, unzip the file and you are ready to begin. When you log in the first time in the Intrepid dashboard, you will find a sidebar on the left and one on the right. And in the center, there is, of course, what we call the workspace. Uh, there are several sections in the left sidebar, the project section, the node section and the graphs section. We'll discover uh, some major details in the next tutorials. But essentially, the projects is, of course, uh, uh, the section that contains uh, the projects that you are going to execute on the vehicle. Uh, the node section contains a library, pretty complete library of nodes. Um, there are nodes uh, that implement mathematical functions or linear algebra, uh, graph uh, computation, uh, and also more specific things uh, like robotics networks, uh, ROS integration, and uh, many uh, robotic sensors that you might found useful. Take your time to explore the nodes library. Um, of course, you can create additional nodes. Uh, there is a tutorial about custom nodes where you can actually create your own logic using the dashboard, so using the visual tools or uh, using uh, Python, Rust or any other uh, code that you prefer. And finally, there's the graph section that contains the graphs that you have created. As you can see in my uh, profile, <laughs> you will see a bunch of graphs that I have already created on the platform. So we will start with tutorial one, um, which is um, uh, the tutorial that I've created for you. Um, so essentially uh, what we want to do is, uh, you know, the most classic example uh, hello world, uh, we're going to do an hello intrepid. So imagine that you want to print a, uh, a string that says hello intrepid. Uh, what we need is a debug log. Uh, this uh, node will essentially print uh, to screen or to standard out, in fact, a message. As you can see here, the configuration of the node is default on as a string. So the message that is going to print is a string. Of course, it can be pretty much any type. You can even define yours if you will. Uh, in this case, what we want to do is printing hello intrepid or maybe hello from intrepid. Now, uh, this will print um, a string. Of course, we need to tell when do we want to print such a string. So there is a concept of uh, uh, events uh, uh, in intrepid. And so on start print string. Now, nothing fancy, of course, but this is, that is how easy and uh, fast it is to uh, spawn an event at a particular uh, time. Of course, there are other events, for example, uh, the timer events, which roboticists know very well, uh, essentially do something or trigger something at a certain frequency in Hertz. So, for example, three times per second, you can print the message, hello from Intrepid. Now, let's assume that we want to print uh, the result of a computation. So uh, let's perform a computation. Uh, in this case, we need uh, the, let's say, adding two float numbers, uh, 40.0 plus 2.0, the result of which should definitely be 42, of course, but in float. If you don't know what the node output is, you just uh, roll over and you will see that uh, the output will be a floating point double precision number. Now, of course, you cannot connect green uh, outputs to uh, purple inputs. Uh, there is, of course, a conversion that needs to be done. Uh, and if you do so, Intrepid will take care of that. It's uh, uh, 
you know, something, some support that you get from the platform. Uh, so there is a conversion to a string, and then of course uh, the string will be given to the debug log node. If you also want to concatenate, for example, you want to print something in a user-friendly way, something like result is um, space and then the result, uh, what we need to do uh, is definitely something like, like so. So we would like to connect this output instead. Let's organize a bit. And that's it. So basically, on start, you print something. Uh, this something is the concatenation of a string and the converted uh, float into a string. So it should print result is 42. Now it's time to execute this um, uh, graph. What we need to do is move to the project section. We need to add a, uh, the graph that we wanted. So in this case, I already added tutorial one. You need to select this graph, which means that this is the graph that I want to execute in my project. And uh, what remains is just copying a token. So you get the security token that you're going to give to the uh, runtime that you have downloaded from the official website. So in this case, we should have our intrepid agent. You have a manual, the Unix style. So it says intrepid agent run. And then it says you need a URL. Uh, the URL, of course, is the token that I just copied. And uh, what happens is that it prints the result 42. Now, if we uh, change the graph into something else, for example, let's add another event that says print this two times per second. So on start, print but also on timer print. So these are two threads, in fact, that the runtime will manage for you for free. What you have to do is edit the graph, save it, Control S or one of these icons here, and then go back to the runtime and rerun it. And what you see is, of course, a bunch of result is 42 on your screen. That wraps up this tutorial. If you'd like to learn more about Intrepid AI, feel free to visit our Discord channel or the documentation site. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.